Hey, long time no see. Welcome back to Mixcraft University with your host, me. If you remember back to the intro to Mixcraft series, we covered some basic ideas like duplicating a clip and trimming it up. In this video, we'll be examining these functions in a bit more detail to show off some other features of Mixcraft. Let's kick things off today by creating a song with some loops. I think I'm feeling the Afro-Cuban stuff today, why not? Let's start things off by dragging in a drum loop here, and we'll get the pop-up window that asks us to change our project settings to match this first loop we've dragged in. So this will switch our project to a tempo of 82.5 and change it to 6-8 time. We can select yes, but let's say we want to work at something a bit different, and maybe a more even number, and maybe slightly more upbeat, so let's change this to 92. Mixcraft has automatically matched this new clip to the tempo, and we should be good to go. Let's drag this back to bar 3, and begin dragging in our other elements. Alright, so now that we've got the foundation of our song laid out, we can extend these loops with the plus 1 loop button here on each of these clips, and get them all to match up with the correct length. Let's take a listen to what we have so far. <laughs> Now I think this is pretty solid, but the first thing I want to change is actually this flute pattern. I really don't like the pattern in the second bar. To remove this, we can split the clip. To do that, let's zoom in a little bit, and we'll click on bar 4 here. Now I'll use Control T, and that will split the clip right there. Then we'll go up to bar 5, and use Control T once more. And now we've split off this segment of the clip. From here, we can hit Delete. To fill this out, I'd like to duplicate the first pattern here in the first bar. Another great way to duplicate certain clips or single hits is to hold Alt on the keyboard and then click and drag from the top of the clip. Now we've duplicated that and filled out our pattern. Let's take another listen. Cool, I think that's a really good start, and I want to do something similar here with the drums and the percussion. I'd like to maybe add something a bit more interesting in the third bar. Once again, we'll click up here, we'll go to bar 5, and hit Control t bar 6, and Control t Now we'll click that and delete it, and then hunt for something a bit more interesting to put in there. I really like the syncopation in this clip here. Let's drag that in. Now the interesting syncopation is in the second half of this clip, so we'll need to trim this up by going to the beginning and clicking to resize the clip. Now we'll drag this back and place it in the third bar and take a listen to our changes. Very cool, I think that's a good start. To further enhance this, let's make the percussion instruments a bit more interesting in the third bar as well. We can go down here and split these clips off with Control t and then delete them. Let's start with the congas by holding Alt and clicking to drag it over here. And what I think I'd like to do is actually make this twice the speed. A really great way to do this is with flex audio. We'll go to the end of the clip here when we see these arrows pop up, and we'll hold control, and that will access flex audio. From here, we can click and drag to resize this clip to fit within just this one bar. Now, we've doubled the speed of the clip to create a more interesting percussion pattern. From here, we can alt click on the first clip, drag it out, and place it on the last bar, and then we'll go to the end with the arrows and resize this to fit only the last bar. All of these functions also apply to MIDI and virtual instruments. This will allow us to do the same thing with the bongo part here. We'll hold Alt and click and drag this over to duplicate it. We'll go to the end and hold Control to access Flex Audio, stretch this down to be one bar, and then once again Alt click the first groove, bring it out, and then trim it up with the end of the clip. Let's take a listen to what we've got now. This is a really powerful way to work, and allows you to work with audio in a much more flexible way by retiming it and stretching it to fit a specific segment. Another great application of flex audio is stretching a song to fit a commercial time spot. So let's say this amazing Afro-Cuban song was selected for a radio spot that's 15 seconds long and it needs to be exactly 15 seconds. To trim this song up to fit a specific time, we'll go to the top bar here, right click, and go to switch to time view. This will display the timeline in Mixcraft in seconds rather than beats and bars. Time view is a great way to work if you need to time things to a specific time frame for radio or TV spots. 
To make this exactly 15 seconds, we'll select all the clips by highlighting them and drag it back to the beginning so it begins at 0 seconds. As you can see, we're pretty close but not quite there yet. We'll click up here at the top and zoom in and find 15 seconds. Right here we have 15 seconds on the dot and we need to trim our clips to fit within this exact time frame. To do that, we'll go to the end of each clip and hold control and drag it back and that will time each of these to be exactly 15 seconds long while keeping their musical context. Now we can zoom out and take a listen to the exactly 15 second cut of this track. Another great thing you might have noticed is that Flex Audio does not affect the pitch. Even though we've technically made this even faster, it's not getting any higher in pitch. This means Flex Audio is a great way to work with any audio source that needs to be stretched to a certain time length, whether that's a musical value or you want to experiment with it by going to extremes either very short or very long. And that does it for this video, so thanks for watching.